welcome to my channel. Today I am making a mini album, more specifically a Disney mini album. So the products I'm using today, firstly are, a lot of them are from my um, swap partner I did a candy swap with. Her name is Jana and I'll link her down below. Um, I did a swap with her and she gave me tons of Disney stuff. I couldn't believe it. I was just so... Oh, I'm, I'm so thankful. She gave me all this beautiful stuff to work with. And um, yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm pretty lucky. And then I'm also working with some things that I got from um, a giveaway that Sabrina Ann did. Um, and so I'm using some of those products as well. Uh, so what I did was I used my silhouette. Finally, I grabbed it and took it out. <laughs> I don't take it out a lot, sadly, but um, I definitely wanted to for this project. And I got a image of Mickey ears from Google and then just traced it really easy, really simple um, and was able to cut out these Mickey head shapes. Um, my mat was not that great. It's pretty old and not very good. So I cut like half the amount I needed or well probably more than half I cut up most that I needed and then um, the rest I as you could see what I did there I just glued one piece to the other color paper I wanted and then just cut around and it worked perfectly fine you literally can't tell the difference and so I'm gonna make this kind of like on a, a binder ring and those I just get from like your local like office depot or staples or whatever kind of stores you have near you and so I'm making this mini album for my mom for Mother's Day obviously now it's past Mother's Day so I've already given it to her um, when I'm recording this video it's not but when you see this it will be um so, yeah, so her and I went to Florida to Disney for a couple days in February, and so I thought it would be fun to make this little mini album for her so she can remember our trip. And, um, yeah, so it was a little bit difficult because um, it was pretty small, and the pictures I printed out were a little bit big for what I was doing here, but in the end, I love like the chunkiness and the everything that's going on. I'm not the type of scrapper who wants everything to be neat and perfect. So, um, yeah. So I printed out all my photos. They're all, I think two by three or something like that, um, about that size. And, uh, that's what they were originally. And then I trimmed a lot of them down just to be smaller or to cut out kind of the unnecessary things. So I'm just titling it, I think it was Disney 2019 or something like that. And um, yeah, so now is the embellishing time and this is uh, the front cover. And this is a picture of her and I at the airport about to leave. This um, was just after my dad passed away. We decided um, to do a little spontaneous trip to Florida. So that's what this is. And uh, yeah. So I got these really cute stickers in my swap and so many embellishments. Oh, I just feel so lucky that I have all these wonderful products to work with. And at first, I didn't think I would like to work with primary colors like red, yellow, and blue. Um, but once I put it all together, I just love the way it looked and um, to see everything together and the, the very evident Disney theme throughout I really like that. So I'm trying to use up some of my scraps here and outlining or putting like a little mat on this photo part of the way. Uh, this is a photo of my mom of uh, us on the first day getting an appetizer and a drink and uh, having that as a snack. It was very rainy the first day we were there, which kind of sucked, but all good. Um, I'm just going to layer up some different pieces behind it and... The tape runner I use is um, Tombow Mono Adhesive, like permanent adhesive. Um, sometimes I also use a hot glue gun. Um, and those are kind of the two main adhesives I use. And this is really just the fun part, just decorating and embellishing and making things look pretty. So there's nothing wrong with that. I did use a lot of like negative pieces of chipboard so that I could um so that I could um put some um like dimension behind some of the embellishments 
And I think that really helped to bring everything together. Um, this is a picture of her and I each wearing a different pair of ears. We were trying them on at the store. We never bought them, but uh, they were cute and fun. And we like trying on the different things. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I backed all of the pattern papers with plain cardstock in the same kind of color scheme. And I think that worked out well, um, yeah, I think it looks good. Um, this is a picture of myself and my mom and my mother-in-law. So my in-laws spend a couple weeks every winter down in Florida. Uh, we're from Canada, if you don't know, Ontario, Canada. So they spend a couple weeks down there every year. So that's why that was kind of why we went there specifically while well, also Disney. <laughs> but um, yeah, they drove us around and we had dinner together and it was really, really awesome. So yeah, so that's a picture of us before dinner and the sun was setting and it was very pretty. Um, and this next photo is my mom and I in Toy Story Land. Uh, we love Toy Story Land. I was so excited to go to Toy Story Land. So excited. Um, I'm a huge fan of Pixar. I'm also a huge fan of Star Wars. So I'm super excited for when Galaxy's Edge comes out. Now, don't get me wrong, like, you're probably like, Rachel, you don't live anywhere near Disney. I know. <laughs> I know, but I'll get there. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll make the trip. <laughs> um, it's, it's, yeah, our, like, home Disney, I guess you could say, it, our home park is Walt Disney World, so that's kind of the lesser expensive park for us to go to. Flights are super duper cheap. Um, I'm lucky because I live right close to the border. So we usually fly out of Buffalo to Orlando. So uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And if we wanted to, we could drive there. It would take long. It'd take like two days, but that's not totally unusual for people to do especially because then you can have your vehicle there. Anyway, um, yeah, so we went to Toy Story Land, and that was just such a blast. Um, we rode on Slinky Dog Dash and the Alien Saucers ride, and of course, um, Toy Story Mania and all those, all, all the rides. Um, I hope I have all the right ride names. <laughs> anyway, so we really loved Toy Story Land and walking around and just loved Hollywood Studios. I know it's not the most popular of all the parks, but for me, oh man, I love it. It's my favorite, especially now with Galaxy's Edge. It's going to be so good. I am like trying to plan a trip to go. I don't know who I'll go with, but I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go when Galaxy's Edge opens. I don't know who's coming, but I'm going. Um <laughs> So I'm really excited for that. I, yeah, I'm a, I'm pretty obsessed with Disney. I l watch uh, so many Disney YouTubers. I listen to so many Disney podcasts on like Disney park updates. I also listen to like Disney movie podcasts. Um, I love like Disney bounding and, and all that like fun, creative stuff and pin collecting and pin trading. And oh, I'm just, I love it. I totally love it. Um, yeah, so good. But of course, I don't get to the parks that often, so I try not to splurge too much because <laughs> I don't really get to the parks that often because I don't live close to it. Close to them, I mean. So anyway, this is a picture of us with Edna from The Incredibles. We kind of had some time to spare, so I was like, oh, let's see what this is because I didn't really know what the attraction was by its name. It was like Edna's something, and I didn't really look into it. And then I was like, oh, it's a meet and greet. And then the line was really short. I'm like, eh, let's just do this. We weren't going to do any like meet and greets, but then, um, the line was so short and we're like, why not? Sounds fun. So that's what we did. Um, and then, so we only spent two days at the parks, one at Hollywood Studios and then one at Magic Kingdom. It had been a really long time since my mom had gone to Disney. So we thought like Magic Kingdom was kind of a staple to go to. And uh, so we went to Magic Kingdom and it was good. I love Hollywood Studios, so it's kind of hard to compare the two, but it was good. The, we found it like a lot bigger than Hollywood Studios. And my favorite Magic Kingdom ride, I think if I had to choose would be Peter Pan's Flight. I really love that ride. Um, I think my favorite ride at Hollywood Studios at this time 
Um, maybe I think Slinky Dog Dash. I really like that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to when Galaxy's Edge comes to Walt Disney World. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. I have high expectations. I've been listening to all the podcasts and reports and everything about it. So um, I think it's going to be really top notch and really, really fun and really immersive and stuff like that. I have a Ray costume or Ray outfit to wear when I go to the park. So um, I have my outfit. <laughs> but the troubling thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> the troubling thing is the outfit that I wear to Hollywood Studios, it's like, do I wear a Pixar outfit or do I wear a Star Wars outfit? Because those are my two favorite things, but they're both at the same park. <sighs> First world problems. <laughs> um, anyway, enough about my rambling and stories and stuff. Um, I had some extra pictures, but I didn't have enough pages, like the Mickey head pages. So I took these really adorable cards and put a picture on um, some of those. I think I just do two, but I think it um, looks really nice in the album and adds a little bit of chunk. And um, I didn't want to have to miss out on those photos because I printed out a lot of the photos that I thought my mom would really like and appreciate and look through and show other people. So yeah, and then I just used my hole punch to put a hole in it so I can fit it in. And um, we are almost coming to the end. Um, I do add a tassel here. As you can see, I had this perfect red tassel. I can't remember where it's from. It might be from Target, maybe from like an old Valentine's time, like um, around Valentine's Day. There we go. And then I put this die cut in the front that I thought would work um, just as like a special embellishment. Um, yeah. So I think that is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're feeling inspired. I had so much fun making it, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.